and maybe laugh a little bit. So I just saw a wonderful Instagram video today where a friend of mine, uh, a movement teacher from America, is putting like a singing bowl on top of his head and hitting it the singing bowl. <laughs> singing bowl. Uh, it was super, super funny. And uh, also from him, we're doing some movements sometimes here. So big shout out to my friend. Oh, I just forgot his name completely. <laughs> yeah, Brian. <laughs> now I got it. To Brian. Hope he's doing great. So come to a great set. Sit up tall. Get long from your hips to your head. Bring your shoulders a little bit to the back. Breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. Feeling the length from your hips to your head. And from there, start to move your shoulders forward, upward, backward and down. And like his video, the video that he did was like about laughing. Laughing is the best medicine. You know, I agree a little. So did you laugh today already? Laugh. And of course, like laugh and laugh, they're so close to, our, to each other. At least for me, laugh and love are so close to each other. What do you think about that? What are your, your thoughts about that? There's so many insights today that that we created, like I created with some, like a friend of mine that I'm coaching. And there's so many insights that we created and so much beauty and so much beauty that we discovered. Hey, Ruffroburger, how are you doing? How is your day going? Welcome in. You know, we're taking it a little bit slower here because I'm still sick. Uh, in some time, we're going to get to a back to a normal schedule. I'm uh, very, very sorry if you plan to join in for, for, for like for more times. It's just like my health that's a little bit bloop at the moment, a little bit down. So move your hands forward, bring your shoulders up, backwards and down. How are you doing? How is your day going? How was your week even? Long time no see, so long time no see, I mean about a week or so or some di days, you know. Time is going so quick these days. Exciting days. So uh, some thoughts like talking about like problems, but still um, I, I talked with a friend about problems today and like the, the problems, not, not only the problems, but you can see like oh yeah there's there's like something bad happening for example like that could be a problem right something that bad that happened throughout your day but you can then think about it and see maybe something that was created that is good from that bad event that happened could be the case right maybe in the worst case maybe like you're breaking a leg, right? And then something beautiful is created out of that because you're maybe going to a hospital and then you're meeting a person there that you're very, very much, um, I don't know, you fall in love or I, I don't know. Uh, maybe you, you get to uh, experience something else in the hospital and it's very, very beautiful. And then you can be grateful for, for uh, kind of like, everything that comes out of it not like the event of like you breaking your bones but more like oh yeah you know what it's good thing that i that happened because because of that i learned something else i had a good day made a cake roasted peanuts whoa made decent money at work awesome worked out isn't yoga supposed to keep you healthy yeah <laughs> But you know, sometimes you're breaking <laughs> your bone. <laughs> so bring your hands together, interlace the thing, and circle your wrists. What are you doing for work, Wolfraburger? Circling your wrist. I mean, I'm interested now that you're saying you like make made a lot of money. You know, everybody's kind of like interested in that. Circling your wrist. Oh, shake your wrist. Out your elbows, your shoulders. How are your wrists feeling? How are your shoulders feeling? How are your shoulder? How are your elbows feeling? A lot of you are trying to see the silver lining in the butterfly effect, even when shit is bad. Exactly. 
the butterfly effect. I mean, yeah. What do you mean with butterfly effect? I don't really uh, know. Like, like, yeah, when something is bad, like seeing something that comes out of it that maybe is good, you know. I mean, butterfly effect is like a word that I can't, I don't understand at the moment. I, I mean, I know the movie, but the movie has nothing to do with that, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't understand the word butterfly effect. Shake your wrists out, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders, bring your hands up by your sides, getting long from your hips to the fingers. Get long, long, long and reach for the stars, whatever your dreams are. Think about them like stars and try to reach them. Get every day a little bit closer. Get long, long, long from your hips to the fingers. Great. Ah, good. In cha chaos theory, the butterfly effect is the sensitive dependence on initial conditions in which a small change in one state of a dimmer signal. <laughs> Not an idea. System can result in large differences in a later state. A very small change in initial conditions had created a significantly ah, of course, yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, reaching for the PS Five, yeah. While you're trying to see the silver lining in the butterfly effect, even if shit is bad, yeah, like saying like something something like butterfly effect thing like happens uh that is <laughs> we're not really we're just talking today and that's all right and just maybe lean to the right I mean, lean to the left so uh yeah i i'm saying that like maybe something happened that maybe you fell with your bike and then something very beautiful came out of that, right? For example, because I fell with the bike and then uh, I taught yoga without moving my body for uh, here on the Vido and Demon channel. You can look that up. You, you will probably, uh, yeah, will be hard to find, but I did it like without moving myself, without moving my body, I taught yoga. And that's something beautiful because I never did that. And like that, we're kind of like learning, learning and being grateful for like little things, right? For bad things even sometimes. Because you see the things that come out of it, exactly the butterfly effect. Reaching for that PS5. Oh, that's your dream. Okay, I, I see. I got it. I got you there. <laughs> What kind of games do you wish to play on your PS5 as soon as you have it? Do you think perspective creates reality? Like having a vision? Um, yeah, Rufferburger to a certain degree. Uh, not completely. To a certain degree. I mean, if you're not having a vision, then uh, it's probably less likely that you get there. Do you understand what I mean? But if you're having a vision, it's more likely that you get there. It's not a guaranteed, not a guarantee. Demon Souls and Bloodborne, okay. Like having a vision makes it more, more likely that you go there. And like, for example, a vision really that you're repeating every morning. And you know, I'm not pushing you there. I'm not pushing you there and I'm not saying that you need to do that but it's like you could do so many things to have a better life and so you need to stay kind of like a little bit who you are and stay true to yourself and not just become like this ideal thing but you're not you anymore do you, do you know what I mean it's like staying a little bit grounded seeing who you are learning to get to know yourself not just living the ideal thing that is mind for a lot of people but like really growing in the direction that you want to grow in 
And yeah, having a vision definitely helps for that, but there are different things that also help with that. There are different things that you can do, for example, having a journal, but still that's another thing. And there's so many more things. And, and the list doesn't end there. What you can to, do to grow in your direction that you want to. So you need to figure out on your own kind of like where, how, how do I want to grow? How do I want to reach for the stars, right? Good. And from here, okay, we're leaning a little bit more to the left and to the right today. I'm so grateful that you're here today. Thank you so much, Waffelburger. Amazing. Bring your shoulder blades onto the back as you're leaning to the left and to the right, trying to have your shoulder blades a little bit to the back. And we're already like only talking today and talking, and that's all right. We're not going too far. And I said yoga should keep you healthy, I meant in terms of the cold you got. Ah, ah, like that. Yeah. Um, you know. Sometimes, uh, I think it's like normal, even though, you know, I'm working quite hard on all the yoga stuff that I'm doing and uh, uh, I think it's all right if I give myself a break here and there and uh, kind of like my body tells me, hey, you know what, take, take it a little bit slower and then afterwards I can step it up again a notch and I can maybe even grow a little bit bigger. Instead of like taking two steps back and then I'm stepping forward again, you know. And it's not just like yoga, it's yeah, of course, like yoga will keep you healthy until an old age. But isn't becoming sick also a sign of like maybe health and coming back out of sickness? How are you how are you dealing dealing with the sickness? Is that kind of isn't that kind of like uh, a sign of health if I you know I'm I'm deeply committed into teaching yoga every day so um, even the so much that um, I'm, I'm teaching yoga I want to teach yoga even when I, I'm sick right however um, it's kind of like limited my ability is limited and uh, still I'm learning so much of, from it and yeah, yoga sh should keep you healthy to a certain degree to an old age that like your body stays fit and everything. And probably I, I should get back to health very, very soon. So uh, from this Monday onward, I'm going to try to step, come back to my normal schedule and then we see how it goes. However, you know, there are some, a lot of things off in my life currently, so I need to also deal with that and maybe that helps me also with my health. I'm actually working out with you today. Oh, cool. Yeah, we're not going for uh, Waffelburger. How strong are you? Um, we're turning, we're twisting right now. So we're not going for much longer. We're just going for five minutes longer today. Another day we're going longer. I'm very sorry if you wanted to go longer. There, I also have some YouTube videos. I can recommend you one if you uh, want to go like uh, a little bit sweaty. I can recommend your one or if you need anything else, I can also recommend you one. Just tell me. Bring your left hand to your right knee and we're twisting in our body, looking over your right shoulder again, sitting up tall and not pulling at your front hand, but we're engaging our belly and we're turning engaging our belly, twisting. Good. We're not at the front hand. This is just for the direction here. Good. Looking over your right shoulder as you're breathing in, get longer from your hips to your head. As you're breathing out, twisting a little bit more with engaging your belly muscles, feeling which muscles are twisting, with which muscles you can twist and then change around. Short workout on the butt is what I was looking for. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I don't have that yet. But you know what? I'm going to create that. I'm going to create that very, very soon. Especially for you, Wolfenburger. And I will mention you in the video. I will send you the video. And I will mention you in the video. I'm going to create one on YouTube. I promise. I, I'm doing that. 
bring your left hand behind your back bring your right hand to your left knee getting long from your hips to your head and breathing out engaging your belly a lot looking over your left shoulder I mean I have already quite some yoga lessons on YouTube that there may be a little bit for the butt but not completely and then bring your left hand to your right knee we're twisting again we maybe can do something here right now together engaging your belly looking your right shoulder and release twist around again here we're twisting at the belly last time not pulling at the front hand but it's for the direction you're doing great keep it up breathing in getting long from your hips to your head breathing out maybe twisting a little bit more and release coming back like you don't want to overdo it oh by butt i mean a yoga workout where i'm just sitting on my ass come on man no don't want stock and all that <laughs> you're funny man just you you got lotus okay you know and from here let's do cat cow just in that sit in that sit that we are doing here right now oh man this is hard on my tummy wummy rounding from the bring the chin to bring the chin to your chest rounding down and then arching up whatever kind of sit you are right now arching up from your lower spine up and then down again you're doing great lots of love out to you man hope you had a great day coming up from your lower spine up whatever kind of sit you have and then round and down again and then release let's change around bring your knees to the outside of the mat and we're going to finish up in just two three minutes bring the big toes together and then reach forward bring your arms by your sides reaching forward release your head down breathing in deep into your belly into your chest reaching forward as far as you can breathing in deep into your belly into your chest and then come out of it again again if you're doing that make sure you don't have any kind of waist restriction going on so if you're wearing a belt or something like that make sure you loosen that belt up and then reach forward maybe for your next time or if you like try it again one more time from here let's lie down on our back let's lie down inch of us and extend your legs feet are facing away from each other bring your arms away from your body palms are pointing up bring the chin a little bit to your chest and then just be feeling how your body is lying on the floor just be feeling the gravity come completely in this moment get you back out of it in just about some seconds have your eyes closed from here start to move your fingers start to move your toes
Coming back into your body, start to breathe deeper. From there, start to move your arms, your legs, and bring your knees in towards your belly. Shift yourself to either the left or the right side, coming to lie down on your side body. In this side body position, release all the tension in your body, releasing all the tension, softening the skin of the face, releasing all the tension in your tongue, in your jaw, in your neck, in your shoulders, in the arms, in the elbows, in the wrists, in the fingers. Again, the shoulders, oh, the shoulders, the chest, the belly, the hips, your whole spine, your whole back. Your legs, your knees, your ankles, your heels, your toes. Breathing in deep. Giving your body a lot of air. Breathing out, releasing. With your next breath, come up by your sides. Sitting up tall, tall, tall. Bring your hands in front of your heart together. Ah. Lots of love and blessings to you. Tune in again to Yoga with Marcel and Sean. Another day. Namaste. We're teaching here yoga every day. If that's that. Lots of love and blessings out to you, friends. So, Rafa Burger, I really need to go right now. But how many push-ups can I do? A lot. I can do. I can show you as soon as I'm healthy again. I will show you. I can do a lot and there's also a trick with that I'm going to show you but another time I really need to go right now have a wonderful day and see you very soon bye 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 have a good one so sorry that I need to really go right now but see you around man lots of love and blessings to you bye bye